Good morning. Good morning. It's really getting cold out there, yeah, isn't it? Is. Are you guys wearing your hats too? Gotta stay warm. Uh -huh. Keep our heads covered. Yep. Well, we get to continue on our journey for the book of Exodus. Yes. And it's the first book of the Bible, right, everyone? No, Miss Emily. Okay, it's a second book it of the is Bible. It's a second. It's a second book of the Bible. And it means to exit. And it means to exit. Mm -hmm. But we were trying to figure out who was exiting, why they were exiting, mm -hmm. and where they were going. I know who was exiting. You know who? It was the Israelites. It was the Israelites, mm -hmm. led by a man named Moses. Moses. Uh -huh. And where were they going? To the promised land. That's right. Yeah. They were going to the promised land. See, God had told Abraham many years before that he was going to take his people mm -hmm. to a promised land and Moses had delivered the Israelites from where? Do you remember the name of that country? Egypt. Egypt, they that's right. It. And Pharaoh mm -hmm. was chasing after them. Remember last week the Red Sea split mm -hmm. and God let the Israelites pass through and then the Red Sea swallowed up all the Egyptians. Mm -hmm. God is amazing. He's a promise maker, a promise keeper. He is faithful. He is a deliverer. He is our savior. He's also holy, Miss Emily. He is holy because only a holy God could do all those things. Mm -hmm. And we're going to see more about how holy God is today. Do is you, it going to be in this oh, book? It is. It's that book right there. Yeah. Do you have your Bible at home? Okay. This, this is my Bible. Bible. It's God's holy word. Everything in it is true, and it's living inside you. That's right, it is. Mm -hmm. May I pray? Yes. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you so much that your word is good and true, and you are so wise, and you show us who you are. Thank you for showing us that you're holy, and I pray we would understand you in a whole new way, and that we would also respond with obedience. In Jesus' name, amen. So what book are we? We're in Exodus chapter what? Exodus chapter 19. Okay. Wow, I can't believe we've made it from chapter 1 all the way to chapter 19. Now today we're going to do two different chapters, chapter 19 and chapter 20. So in chapter 19, Miss mm -hmm. Carrie, yes. it starts off with back at the very same mountain mm -hmm. where God had spoke to Moses with that burning bush. Isn't that amazing? So amazing. Yes. And here we see in chapter 19, two things happening. One, we see that Moses went to the mountain and spoke with God. And God wanted to make sure that he reminded the Israelites, hey, I am very faith faithful. He says in verse 4, do you want to read it for us? Yeah, you have seen what I did to the Egyptians and how I carried you on eagle's wings and brought you to myself. Oh, God is amazing. He kept his covenant and he mm -hmm. reminded his people. He says, I am going to make you my own possession. You belong to me. Two, you are going to be a kingdom of priests. You will know me well, and you're also going to be sharing the world about my name and my character. Mm -hmm. That's what that means. And then he says, my holy nation. We are a very special chosen nation. And so God wanted to make sure the Israelites knew who he was. So he came in a dense cloud. It says that there was thunder, lightning, a thick cloud, enveloped in smoke all over the mountain because the Lord came down. God is so powerful. Mm -hmm. He is holy. Only a holy God could do those things, make that covenant, and keep it. Mm -hmm. So he says to the Israelites, well, to Moses to go mm -hmm. tell the Israelites, because of who you know I am, mm -hmm. you need to do these things. And that's in chapter 20. And there's Ms. 10 Carrie, things. There's 10 things. That's right. Mm -hmm. There's 10 things. You what get to tell us. Do you remember what they're called? The 10? Oh, it starts with a C. Mm -hmm. It's 10 things we're supposed to do. They're not. The, some people think that they're rules and laws. But it's really what we should do because God is so amazing. And he loves us so much. And he loves and us so much. And we need to share him with others and we need to do these Be things. Be that kingdom of priests. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. What is it called? Oh, some of you guessed it. Yeah, they did. They, they said it. the Ten mm -hmm. Commandments. Yes. That's right. Yeah. But Miss Carrie has a really fun way for us to mm -hmm. know what those ten things are. Yes. Okay, so with me, you're going to hold up your fingers when I hold them up, okay? Okay. So you're going to hold up one finger. One finger. There's only one God. One God. Yep, only one true God. One true God. Mm -hmm, that's the first one. Mm -hmm. Okay, the second one, two mm -hmm. fingers. 
shake them. Like, no, no, no. no there no, should no. never be two guys. So do not make no. for yourself an idol. Right, because there's only one guy. Because there's only one true <laughs> guy. So there should never be two. Okay. Number three is mm-hmm. like a W. Do you see how there's a W <gasps> yes. in your fingers? Yes. Okay. So this is for watching what you say. <gasps> So you do not use the Lord's name in vain. Oh, yes. That's right? true. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. Number four. Hold up four fingers. Four fingers. This guy looks, your thumb looks like he's kind of resting, right? Mm-hmm. So we're going to remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy because we rest yes. on the Sabbath day. We do. We worship him that day. Uh-huh. I and, love that and one. Worship, and yes. Rest. Yes. Okay, number five. Honor your father and mother like you're taking a pledge. Yes. I'm going to honor my father and my mother. Honor my father and my mother. Mm-hmm. And number six. Hold wait, up, hold up, wait, wait, hold up six fingers. Six fingers. Uh-huh. And then this one's going to be like a gun. It's going to be like be like shooting. So do not murder. Oh, uh-huh. but is it always just shooting with a gun for murdering? Do you know that God's word also says that even when we think bad thoughts or not kind thoughts? It's like murdering somebody. It is. So, yeah. Remember that we should watch what we say, yeah, right? Yeah. We need to watch what we think, too. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so that was six. That was six. So number seven. Number seven. You're going to act like these people are walking down to get married. <gasps> because marriage is a really strong covenant, right? Yes, that's And so right. the seventh commandment is do not commit adultery. Yes. Yeah. Marriage so matters to yes. God. Yes, and mm-hmm. so do not commit adultery. So that's number seven. Number eight, hold up four fingers on each hand. Yes. Now put them in front of your face like you're <laughs> in jail. <laughs> because you stole something. So oh, number eight no. is do not steal. Do not steal. Yeah. Okay. Don't want to go to jail. Okay. Number nine. Hold up nine fingers. Yep. Miss Emily. I have, you have, I have you nine. Have okay. I have nine. Okay. Do you have nine? <laughs> okay. I we have nine. Okay. We, have, we all have nine. So this, not, this finger is uh-huh. telling lies to these fingers about this finger <gasps> over here. Oh, so no. that one is do not bear false witness. Do not talk about others oh, that's to other kind. people. That's not loving. Okay. Mm-hmm. Number 10. Number 10. The last one is do not covet. So you're not going to want, act like you're wanting, like I want, I want, I want. Uh-huh. You do not want what other people have. You do not no. covet what they have. Oh. You know what? Mm-hmm. If we did all of these 10, ten things, things yeah. we would stand out because the world does these 10 things. Right. And we would be showing others who God is yes. if we did not do those things. That he is holy. Yeah. And he is full of love. He is. It's full not easy of love. not to do these ten things. No, nope. it can be really hard. But I love but. that because of the chapter before we mm-hmm. learned these ten commandments, mm-hmm. God says that if we go to Him, He will help us to do these things. Yeah, that is amazing. It is. So, do you think we should still be doing these ten things today, Miss Carrie? Yeah, and I think that the boys and girls they need to be if they already know Jesus as our Lord and Savior, they need to be reading this whole book, not just these ten things, to know so, what to do. So, if you know that God is all the things that Mm -hmm. he said in chapter 19, and you've confessed with your mouth and you believe in your heart that Jesus is Savior, you should be studying God's word. Mm -hmm. So you know all these things. And you will look different, and you will be doing exactly what God said in his covenant in chapter 19. Wow. But what about the boys and girls who don't know God? Do you think maybe today... You could acknowledge that God is this holy God. Yeah. Send his son Jesus to die for your sins, and he will help you do these mm-hmm. things. Oh, I love that God's word says when we do these things because of how great he mm-hmm. is, that he will help us, and we will stand out to share how good he, he is. Because mm-hmm. he's so good. Yes, because we don't want to look like the world around us. No. It is broken and sad. Yeah. Oh, it is so tough. Mm-hmm. So tough. Mm-hmm. I'm so thankful for yes. who God is. Yes. So will you think of one thing that you want to pray over with the commandments? Something that stirred in your heart when we were saying those. What's the one thing that you know you need to work on? Oh, okay. We will pray over that. And if you were wondering, I heard some of you go, I'm just not sure. We will pray for you that you will study these 10 things and talk about how good God is Mm -hmm. all week long. Ms. Carrie, would you pray for us? I would love to. Okay. Dear Heavenly Father, God, I ask that you help these boys and girls to want to know you more, God, so that they can know who you are and be wanting to share you with those around them, God, with these 10 things in Exodus chapter 20, God, but also with all of scripture and um, how important it is for us to know who you are so that we can share you with others, God. And we love you, and we praise you, God, and I ask that you help these boys and girls to have a good week. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen.
Bye.